Hello, Adventure Explorers. It's so good to see you this evening for Compassion Camp. Can you believe that we're already at week four? Oh my goodness, the time flies while we're having fun. I'm really glad to see you though. Of course, I'm Pastor Meredith, our lead pastor at Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church, and I'm here with our wonderful Compassion Camp staff, of course. We have Laud the Lamb and Laud's assistant, Cohen. We have Miss Laurie, who's our fabulous activities director at camp. We have Joy, who's our wonderful camp counselor for camp. And we have Miss Becca, who's our fabulous camp music director. And we are so excited to be able to worship with you today. Our theme this week is compassion along the way. Compassion helps us to be present with one another, with our family and friends and with people we meet as we're doing life and as we're going along. So I have some questions for you, and I'd like for you to answer, well, we'll all answer, with the first thing that comes to mind. You ready? Who is always there for Minnie Mouse? Mickey. Mickey, yeah. Who's always there for Iron Man? Pepper Potts. That is true. Who's always there for Harry Potter? Ron and Hermione. That's true. Who's always there for people in danger? Policemen and firemen. Well, that is true, too. Who's always there for people who are sick? Uh, doctors and nurses. Yeah. Who's always there for children? Moms, dads, aunts, uncles, cousins, teachers. Yeah, for Lots sure. Of people. Lots of people. How about this? Who is always there for you? You guys take a minute to think about that. Who's always there for you, Cohen? Your mom and dad? Nice. How about you, Miss Lori? Um, my husband, Nate, and my dog, Luna. Mm. And Laud, sorry. Laud. Laud, too. Yeah. What about Definitely. you, Joy? My sister, Karis. Mm. What do you think, Miss Becca? Who's always um, there for you? My friend, Karen. Mm. Wow, those are great answers. You know who's always there for me, too, I can say? Is God. What about for you all? People who are always there for you? Now, that may have been pretty easy for us to kind of pop out with those, but I'm wondering, what does it mean to be always there? Does that mean that you're always right next to them? Like, right next to them, like Miss Laurie is and Miss Joy is right now. What does it mean to be there for people who are sick, or for the poor, or for your family, or for yourself? I think another way of saying this is being present with someone. If I want to be present with a friend, I wait and I listen and I ask how I can support them the very best way they need. Today, we are really present right here with one another, aren't we? And whether we're together physically or apart, we know that God is always with us too. And that we can always be present with each other in so many different ways. So we're going to learn all about that today, how compassion helps us to be present with one another, Adventure Explorers. So let's get singing and working. See you again in a minute. Hi, Adventure Explorers. It's time for our song. Today we're going to learn a song called I Am the Church, You Are the Church, We Are the Church Together. So if this, if this is your first time learning it, we're going to do it as a repeat after me song. A repeat, repeat after, after me, me song. song. And a do as I do song. And, and a, a do, do as, as I, I do, do song. song. So here we go. I am the church. You are the church, we are the church together. I am the church, you are the church, we are the church together. All who follow Jesus all around the world. All who follow Jesus all around the world. We are the church together. We are the church together. Okay, that's our chorus. So let's do that one all together. Ready? I am the church, you are the church, we are the church together. All who follow Jesus all around the world, yes, we're the church together. Good, and then there's a verse, so we're going to do this again with you repeating after me. All right, here we go. The church is not a building, 
The church is not a building. The church is not a steeple. The church is not a steeple. The church is not a resting place. The church is not a resting place. The church is the people. The church is the people. Good, so let's do that part all together. Ready? Here we go. The church is not a building. The church is not a steeple. The church is not a resting place. The church is the people. Good, and then we go back into the chorus again. So it's gonna go chorus, first chorus. Ready to try it all together? Here we go. I am the church, you are the church, we are the church together. All who follow Jesus all around the world, yes, we're the church together. The church is not a building, the church is not a steeple, the church is not a resting place, the church is the people. I am the church, you are the church, we are the church together. All who follow Jesus all around the world, yes, we're the church together. Great job. All right, Adventure Explorers, we're getting ready to hear our Bible story where we're gonna hear about three women who figured out how to be present with each other in some really hard times in their lives. So as we prepare to learn more about being present with each other, let's begin with our compassion prayer. And I remind you that in your activity box, you have the compassion prayer printed out for everyone in your household for you to be able to color and use during this week. So I hope that you'll do that. But right now, I hope that you'll join with me in praying our compassion prayer. And we pray with our whole bodies. So put a hand over your heart and put a hand on your head. Remember, we pray with our whole bodies and our minds and all that we are. And then repeat after me. Loving God, you are active and alive always moving and stirring within and around us. Please be an encouraging wind at our backs, giving us open minds and soft hearts to follow where you lead. Make us flexible and present in each moment that we might embrace compassion by letting go of what we expected. Amen. Our Bible story today shows us what it is to be open and present to the feelings and to the people who uh, we meet along the way and what that can look like. When our compassion is strong, we are alive to the feelings of others around us and we're open to feeling what they feel and how we can be with and we can support them in those feelings. So this is our story from the book of Ruth. In Judah, there once was a man named Elimelech who worried about how his family would survive a famine that was there. So he took his wife, Naomi, and their two sons, and they moved to a new country, that of Moab. They settled there, and they made a life among the people there. And soon, their sons married women who lived there, one named Orpah and one named Ruth. Sadly, Naomi's husband passed away. And sadly, so did their two sons. They both died too. Naomi missed her family and wanted to go back home. So she began the long journey back to Judah. As was the custom for daughters by law, Orpah and Ruth followed her. But Naomi insisted they stay home in Moab. Go back to your family. May the Lord deal kindly with you as you have dealt with your husbands and me. Peace be with you. Then Naomi hugged them goodbye as they all cried together. But Orpah and Ruth were, were determined to follow her. Naomi tried to persuade them. I do not want to ruin your chance at marriage and having your own family. 
If you stay with me, you will have nothing because I cannot give you anything. I have lost everything and my heart is so bitter. They all cried together once again. Orpah decided to go back, but Ruth clung to Naomi even more. Naomi said to Ruth, don't stay with me, go back with Orpah. But Ruth opened up to her, don't make me leave you. Where you go, I will go. Where you make your home, I will make my home. Your people will be my people, your God, my God. And where you die and are buried, I will be buried there too. I will be your family. When Naomi saw that she couldn't change Ruth's mind, her heart softened. She accepted Ruth and they traveled back to Judea together. Ruth lovingly took care of Naomi and she became like a daughter to her. What an amazing Bible story of love and compassion for one another, for people along the way, and for ourselves. Sometimes it's hard to know what direction to take. To take. We saw that in our story today. But if we're present with the people that we're with and the experiences of those around us, we can trust God's Spirit to show us a compassionate way to be together. Naomi showed compassion to Ruth and Orpah by encouraging them to return to their families. Ruth showed compassion to Naomi by going with her. Orpah showed compassion by supporting Ruth's decision to stay with Naomi, but also going back to her family, which was the best decision for her. All of them gave compassion in their own way. And they've showed us that there are many ways to follow the spirits leading of us to love and to care for one another. Thanks, Adventure Explorers, for having our Bible story with us. Hi, campers. Time for our week four activities. Can you believe it is already week four? Don't forget your poster. This time you're looking for people being present with each other. You'll have to think a little bit about what that means, being present with one another. So you're gonna color that. Your poster should be starting to get pretty, pretty much colored now. We've only got one more week, can you believe it? Okay, and then in our box we have, oh, we have your folder with all of your week four information in it. And, before I tell you what's in here, you also have the opportunity this week to do a meaningful walk, where you're gonna take a walk and you're gonna really think about the things that you're seeing and you're hearing. You can also, we included some online links for some aquariums and museums where you can do some virtual tours and those are a lot of fun too. In addition, Laud's favorite part, sidewalk chalk. You have your own sidewalk chalk. So with your sidewalk chalk, you're going to find maybe your driveway, a sidewalk, somewhere where you can write some words of encouragement for others because we kind of need that right now. So I hope you have fun. Send us some pictures. You can send pictures of your poster as it's getting done and what you've done with your sidewalk chalk or from your walk. We'd love to see them. Bye guys. Hi everybody, it is week four with yoga with Miss Lori and Laud and his helper Cohen. And it is time for yoga again, where we stretch our bodies and we try to connect our body and mind and soul and God and put them all together and feel really good. Now here's a reminder today, we are not professional yoga people, not at all. So. Do the best that you can, because we're going to do the best that we can, and here we go. Invite everyone to sit on the floor with your legs crossed in a nice, comfortable place wherever you are, including Laud. <laughs> now let's take three deep, slow breaths in together, and then exhale, breathe in. 
with an open heart and out. I am present to the spirit within and around me. And in, with an open heart and out. I am present to the spirit within and around me. And in, with an open heart and out. I am present to the spirit within and around me. Now slowly rise and stand in mountain pose. Arms straight and strong by your side with your feet perm firmly planted on the ground. Take a deep breath in and a big breath out. Let's do that again. In. In mountain pose, we feel our strength. We are unshakable. Now reach your arms up to the sky and then back down as you bend into forward fold. With your hands on the ground or resting on your shins, whatever's comfortable. Take a breath in and raise your hands to your knees with your head looking forward. We prepare and focus our eyes forward. Take a deep breath and put your hands back to the ground in forward fold. Take a deep breath in and out. And then roll your back up and rise to mountain pose. And then turn to face sideways on your mat. And step or jump your feet apart into a V with hands on your hips. Turn your left toe slightly in and point your right foot forward toward the top of your mat. Deeply bend your right knee. Place your right hand on the floor. Stretch your left arm up. And you can point your right foot toward the top of your mat. If that will help you balance a little bit. Hold, breathe, and feel your sides stretch and strengthen. The spirit stretches and opens us to new flexibility. And now with your knee still bent, turn toward your foot. Move into a lunge with your hands on either side. And now from here, place your right hand on the ground and stretch your left arm to the sky in triangle pose. When we are open and flexible, we see the world in a new way. Now lower your left arm and place your hands on either side of your right foot. Raise your upper body with your legs still in a V. Turn your left foot toward the back of the mat. Excellent. Now, deeply bend your left knee. Place your left hand on the floor. Stretch your right arm toward the sky with your chest facing out. Hold this and breathe. Feel your side stretch and strengthen. The spirit stretches and opens us to new flexibility. Now with your left knee still bent, turn towards your foot. Move into a lunge with your hands on either side of your foot. And slowly straighten your left leg and bend your head towards your knee into a modified pyramid pose. You can straighten that front knee a little bit. And place your right arm up in the sky and stretch. When we are open and flexible, we see the world in a new way. Now lower your arm once again and place your hands on either side of your foot. And then stand up slowly, roll up. Put your feet back together and face forward for mountain pose and reach your arms up into the sky big stretch, and then bring your hands right down into prayer form in front of your heart. And I invite you to end with a bow of your head and hands as you share the traditional yoga greeting, Namaste. 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 Or you can say, the light in me sees the light in you. The light in me sees the light in you. Thanks, guys. All right, Adventure Explorers, it's time to sing through our theme song for the week one more time. I am the church. Are you ready? Here we go. 
I am the church, you are the church, we are the church together. All who follow Jesus all around the world, yes, we're the church together. The church is not a building, the church is not a steeple, the church is not a resting place, the church is a people. I am the church, you are the church, we are the church together. All who follow Jesus all around the world, yes, we're the church together. Awesome job. All right, Adventure Explorers, we did a great job today learning about compassion. And you know we end every week with our compassion pledge. So everybody raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, state your name. I, I Meredith. Promise to. Promise to. Live as an adventurer. Live as an adventurer. Explore my faith and world. Explore my faith and world. And always remember. And always remember. That God loves me and you. That God loves me and you. Great job and we'll see you next week.